Hi Libra. Welcome to Willow Oak. Um, I would, would like to begin with saying I'm sorry that I've been absent. I've had like a bazillion towers that I've been working my way through and things are starting to calm down a little so I thought I would go ahead and do the month of April and things might still be a little sporadic but hopefully in the near future it looks like it anyway that I will be able to get back to reading consistently in the near future, okay? So, let's go ahead and see what we have for April. But this is also timeless, so anytime you come across this and you want to watch, then it's right for you, or at least some of it will be, all right? And you might check your other placements if this doesn't resonate with you, okay? And we are going to start out with some oracle cards. They kind of help set the groundwork. Ah, all the glitters. Okay, what this is letting you know is not everything can be taken at face value. All right? Not everything that glitters is gold. There might be some point, could be a very small period of time or longer, where you might be only seeing a partial truth or potentially a total facade, okay? But we'll need to get more to find out what's going on there. But that is just letting you know to keep your eyes open, you know, be discerning and make for sure that you're getting the truth. Using your intuition would be a very good thing to do with this. And it could be about anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what animal comes up for you. The cat. Love this. Claim your independence. Okay. Very interesting. I know both of these cards came out in the same position for an earlier reading, but I can't remember which one. So I said, very interesting. I wish I could remember. All right. So claiming your independence. There must be something going on in your life right now where you feel obligated to something or you feel like your independence is being challenged. Um, say, for example, at work, you have a boss, right? You have to do what the boss wants. So it could be something like that. It could be in relationships. It could be, you know, with yourself. Okay, what do we have here? Ideation. Okay. Wonderful card. Let your ideas flow. Serenity. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Mm -hmm. And it's true. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. You need to love yourself, be true to yourself, honor yourself, okay? So yeah, it's very important that you make yourself a priority, okay? And here you have ideation, which is let your ideas come forward. And here is independence. These could be definitely linked. 
all right? They don't have to be, but they certainly could be. Let's get a couple of these, and well, this one kind of would come out. Ring. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Okay, let's see what we have here. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Kind of, <laughs> and it's spinning upside down. Okay, so oh, um, having no coincidences, only synchronicities. I would have to say the opposite <laughs> because it's just spinned all the way around. Okay, so I would say the opposite holds true. I think that's kind of interesting um, how that happened. <clears throat> so, a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Very, very interesting. And I love this. So, okay, it was here and then it just spun all the way around. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So it would be the opposite of that. You don't need to worry. Material wealth will be coming in. And it's taking place with this um, ring. Hmm. All right. Let's get one more. New knowledge. Let's see what that would like to share. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay. So, all that glitters is not gold. Make for sure that you use your intuition, you keep your eyes open to make for sure that you're getting the truth. Okay? And if you have any doubts, check it out. Here, claim your independence. You have this idea, run with it. And remember, the most important part of any relationship you can have is the one with yourself. And it's talking about getting together, and this was wonderful, spinning upside down, no need to worry about wealth, <laughs> okay? And don't let your past hold you back. So it is quite possible that some of this has to do with um, potentially a negative or challenging experience or mindset from your past, including this. But let's go ahead and get some cards and see what we find out. Ah, an unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. That would fit right in with the all that glitters, wouldn't it? So that's either um, early in the month or potentially the past. All right, let's see your current energies. All right, transformation. This is telling you it's like a like tower. Let the past or current situation fall away and bring in the new. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations. Breaking free of procrastination. Releasing old belief systems. So yeah, to me, this is definitely about self. And here, you have working too hard or multiple jobs. You need to bring balance and fun into your life. 
juggling multiple priorities, balancing the budget. Balance. Bring in balance. Okay? And here is another two, so you have two twos, which is potentially significant. And this is saying you know which way to go. You are now planning on how to go forward. Okay, could be a trip. But what it is, is you are planning on how to go forward because you see where it is you wanna go. And it's quite possible you will be leaving something behind, which could be anything, including, um, you know, your mindset, right? And I say that because of these cards. You know, you need to be very important. Claim your independence, right? And here, all that glitter, that could potentially be you, you know? Maybe um, not believing in yourself. When you are an absolutely wonderful, miraculous creation. Okay. Now, this is what is potentially affecting your situation. Okay? It says make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options, potentially addictions. So, you have choices. And that is what is affecting this. Your ideation, you have this idea. Look at the choices. Pick the choice that is right for you, that serves you the best and allows you to claim your independence, okay? Now, let's go on to potentially either your challenge or what's being helpful to you. Whoa, oh no, that's way too many. Not enough room on this table for that many. So we still get a group. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. We will take the group. The group wanted to come out, so we will take the group. Okay. Here. The need... To move on, seeking more from life than what you are experiencing. A spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes. A change in priorities, potentially leaving home. And this doesn't necessarily mean physically. It could. But big life changes. You know, with these cards out here, to me it's changing what's within you, right? Making yourself a priority. Letting your ideas flow. Gaining your independence. Claiming it. Being true to you. Right? Absolutely beautiful card. The Ten of Pentacles. Financial security for yourself and your family. Inheritance or retirement. Peace and contentment in life. Honoring family traditions. Pride in the family tree. Passing on knowledge. Maybe... This energy is what is helping you, or that's what this is, this column, these energies, I love this card, this is one of the best cards in the deck, are helping you to realize the changes that you need to make, right? Justice, okay. Be impartial and objective, stand up for what you believe, try to see all sides of the situation, you will win if your position is one of integrity. It is also balance. You need to have the balance in your life, right? And you have the sun. So here you have major arcana, the transformation, 
closing out of this challenging cycle and starting a new one. Here you have two major arcana, justice, which is balance, and the sun, the very best card in the deck. So that is what is affecting you, helping you to go forward with this. It's absolutely beautiful. A time of great joy and success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly, gratitude to the divine. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. So these changes to me, oh, I've got goosebumps all over my arms. To me, these changes are definitely coming in for you. You're going to be able to see your value. You know, you're a miraculous being. And you're going to start to see this. It's beautiful. I love it. Okay. Let's um, see the potential future, even though <laughs> this, we could stop right here. You know, beautiful. And I love this, the shark. It just spun right upside down. Okay, the future. Here we go. Letting go of this. What's been holding you down? Unfounded fear. Expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies. Allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation. Sleepless nights. Refocus your thoughts. This is what you're letting go of. This is your advice. Let this go. Let the negativity go. And here, the good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance. Borrowing wisely or paying off debt. Sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. So this is a give and take energy. Okay? Sharing with others. Others sharing with you. And in your case, sharing with yourself, sharing the positivity and the right here, the relationship that you have with yourself, letting go of this negativity and bringing in the positivity and the balance. Okay. And here's balance. Just beautiful. Okay, one, whoa, one more flying card. <laughs> okay. Working too hard or too many hours and need for balance in life. Let others help you. Health problems due to stress. Okay, this is saying drop all of this. Okay. Your advice is letting go of the burdens, dropping the burdens, okay? Which is beautiful advice. If you drop all the burdens, what do you have left? Hmm. Freedom, feeling light, able to go forward, because these burdens, from the way this looks, is this, this very heavy, heavy negativity. So your advice is to drop it and pay attention to this. The most important relationship is the one that you have with yourself. Okay, let's clarify. And see what comes up. Yeah, this is actually a very good card. Mm -hmm. Dropping those burdens. It's like getting that monkey off your back or that camel or elephant. Whatever it is, it's very, very heavy. Mm -hmm. And feeling light and free. Okay. Here we go. You have the same card right here, which you have right here. 
This is clarifying this, okay? You're turning this upside down and creating balance and give and take. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Let's see what else comes up. This is your present energy. One, oh, this kind of covered up there. The one that's saying bring in the balance. Transform out of the energy that you're in and go forward. You know what to do. Or you have a very good idea of it. You know what you need to get rid of. Mm -hmm. And that's whatever it is for you. It could be different for everybody, but it's a negative, right? Maybe self-condemnation, um, lack of belief in yourself, whatever it is. It's time to let that go. Bring in the balance and have this new beautiful beginning. Spirit guides, please show me the clarification. Whoa, too, way, way, way too many. Let's see what this card is. Same as this card. Choices. Okay, choices, making the right choices. A new beginning, the Ace of Wands, which is one that you're very enthusiastic about. Okay? Letting go of the indecision, the apathy. Celebration. And this is also, for me, your support system. So this is saying if at any time during this that you need support, you have it. It's right here for you. <laughs> I love this. The Four of Wands. Celebration. And this one talks about going in and having this wonderful celebration. It's typically more of a formal celebration. Uh, like, say, weddings, things like that. Graduations. But in this case, it would be like the new you celebration. And it can also mean that like going in here is going in through, through a portal to the new you. Mm -hmm. And here, see, we have no room. <laughs> okay. King of Wands. The King of Wands is a mature energy. Okay. And he goes for what he wants. And he gets it. And he's brave. Okay. Beautiful energy. So this is saying that you're going to go for this. And the last one is you're going to get out of this energy. So then be gone. And if you look at this, see it's like whispering in your ear. All these negatives. All these challenges. And you're going to let that go. Okay. Now on to the Seven of Cups. And of course, we have a group. We wouldn't want one card now, would we? No. <laughs> okay. Page of Pentacles. A young energy. One that wants to start something new. That um, is gaining abundance. And abundance can be anything. It can be money. It could um, be learning. It can be anything. But this is where you are starting the new path. And here you have the Queen of Wands. I think somewhere in this giant pile there might be the King of Wands. Maybe. Anyway, you have the Queen of Wands, and I love her. She is full of enthusiasm, and she goes for what she wants. Okay? She is not afraid to speak up and be heard. And 
He has a full. The new beginning. And remember, here is transformation. Here you have this new beginning. And this says to be happy, have fun, make it an adventure. Be open to the possibilities. Okay? And this would be of the new you. And don't forget you had this beautiful, beautiful sun. <laughs> and looky what we have here. The Queen of Pentacles. I love this. This is balanced to me. One of the things that she represents for me. She is very abundant. Brings in the pentacles and other kinds of abundance. And her home life is filled with love. And somehow she manages to balance the two out. So for me, she is full of abundance, loving family, and much balance. Absolutely beautiful. And that. is one of the benefits that you have. And you have a lot of them. Okay, and just to, for you to notice that here you have justice, which is balance as well. You have the sun, the ten of pentacles, which is like leaving a legacy. So it's affecting you. There's so many beautiful things here. It's bringing in the change. Okay, let's see potential future. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, yeah, divine counterparts of the awesome kind, mm -hmm. full of enthusiasm and drive and excitement, and they go for what they want. Okay, future, what do we have? For Libra. Well, certainly being shy coming out. Ah, the Ten of Cups, absolutely beautiful. You have the Ten of Pentacles here, which is you and everybody you love being totally abundant. Here, you and everybody you love being totally happy. So the results of this are wonderful. Okay, let's get one more card. Unless the universe wants more than one. <laughs> For your advice, you already have. Drop all of the burdens. Let go of the negativity. Whoa. Okay. We have bring in the balance. You have justice and here you have justice. So that's twice, which is universe's way of saying I meant what I said. Bring in the balance. Drop the burdens. Bring in the balance. Justice is here for you. If anybody's wronged you in any way, justice is here. And you have the magician, which is saying that you have everything you need with you and within you to create the reality that you want in your life. Now hold on just a second, because some of these flew on the floor. Okay, page of swords. Learning, thinking clearly. Finding the answers that you are looking for. Here you have temperance, which is balance and harmony. So look at the difference between these two. You're letting go of these burdens to bring in the balance and harmony. It's beautiful. Okay, and you have judgment. 
which means you are rising up mm -hmm. to a whole new you. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, I've got to show you this. Okay. See if I can remember where to put these back. <laughs> okay. Dropping the burdens. You and everybody you love being filled with abundance. You and everybody you love having this wonderful happiness. Love it. Okay, now let's see if I can put these back. <laughs> uh, where did they go? I don't remember. Well, I'm just going to leave them out like this because this, <laughs> this is huge to me. You have three tens, which means something, definitely. Okay, let's close out this reading with a few more cards. How long did it take me to forget exactly where these went? It didn't take me long at all, did it? Nope. All right. Let's see what we have. Reconsider. And I'm sure, yeah, if you have any doubts about going forward and creating this new life, do reconsider, okay? Because this is very important. Now let's get a card for love. And this can be any kind of love. Take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. Absolutely beautiful. And the visual here makes it look like a romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. Which it could very well be. This could be about romance. Does not have to be. To me it looks more like it's about self. But this could also be a general statement. Take a chance on love. And it could also be about yourself. Take a chance on love. Loving yourself. Okay? Thank you very much. I hope this helps. And I hope you have a wonderful month. Much love. Bye.